My name is Yao Davis and history and aviation is my passion. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit organization called the Pan-African Technical Association. We're also known as PATA, P-A-T-A. This is an opportunity for you to help PATA achieve its goals. Currently, PATA is working to complete our DVD project titled The Emperor's Aviator, the story of Colonel John Robinson, the African-American commander of Ethiopia's first Air Force. This is a fascinating story. Pata documents the achievements of John Robinson through interviews, lectures, and photographs. One example of the achievement of John Robinson occurred in, the 19, in 1920. John Robinson led a group of African-American men and women in the construction of a small airplane. Once that small airplane was constructed in their field, they looked at each other and they looked at each other because none of them knew how to fly. At that time, in 1920, John Robinson was working as a custodian in the Curtis Wright School of Aviation in Chicago. He was working as a custodian because that's the only way he can get to the school and be at the school. And while he was at the school, he was learning about aviation, but not in a formal way. John R. Robinson asked one of the instructors to come to the field just to inspect the plane and then find something wrong with it and then tell the students that good job and good try and then maybe you could do better next time. The instructor came to the field and he saw the great craftsmanship that the plane had and he decided that not only did he inspect the plane but he actually flew the plane and because he did fly the plane Colonel John Robinson became the first African American to be accepted in the Curtis Wright School of Aviation. The DVD talks about those type of substantial achievements and other substantial achievements of John Robinson, such as how he actually became Colonel. John Robinson became Colonel of the Ethiopian Air Force under the Emperor Haile Selassie, and we talk about how that actually happened. In addition to completing the DVD, this fundraising effort is going to help Pata host a luncheon in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in remembrance of Colonel John Robinson on March the 27th. At that luncheon, there are going to be Ethiopians who knew Colonel Robinson and spent time with Colonel Robinson. They're going to talk about their experiences with Colonel Robinson. We ask you to browse the pages of this campaign and make a contribution in support of Pata. We'd like to thank you in advance for that contribution.